the Sargasso Sea. Sargasso Sea, is a region of the North Atlantic Ocean bounded by four currents forming an ocean gyre. Unlike all other regions called seas, it has no land boundaries. It is distinguished from other parts of the Atlantic Ocean by its characteristic brown sargassum seaweed and of 10 calm blue water. The sea is bounded on the west by the Gulf Stream, on the north by the North Atlantic Current, on the east by the Canary Current, and on the south by the North Atlantic Equatorial Current, a clockwise circulating system of ocean currents termed the North Atlantic Gyre. It is approximately 1,100 km wide by 3,200 km long. Bermuda is near the western fringes of the sea. All the currents deposit the marine plants and refuse they carry into this sea, yet the ocean water in the Sargasso Sea is distinctive for its deep blue color and exceptional clarity, with underwater visibility of up to 61 meters. It is also a body of water that has captured the public imagination, and so is seen in a wide variety of literary and artistic works and in popular culture. The naming of the Sargasso Sea, after the Sargassum seaweed, traces back to the early 15th century Portuguese ex. Explorations of the Azores Islands and of the large, Volta do Mar, the North Atlantic Gyre, around and west of the archipelago, where the seaweed was often present. However, the sea may have been known to earlier mariners, as a poem by the late 4th century author Rufus Festus of Ienus describes a poor tion of the Atlantic as being covered with seaweed citing a now-lost account by the 5th century BC Carthaginian Himilco the Navigator. The Sargasso Sea is home to seaweed of the genus Sargassum, which floats en masse on the surface. The Sargassum is not a threat to shipping, and historic incidents of sailing ships being trapped there are due to the often calm winds of the horse latitudes. The Sargasso Sea also plays a major role in the migration of Catadromus eel species such as the European eel, the American eel, and the Amer. Iconconger eel. The larva of these species hatch within the sea and as they grow, they travel to Europe or the east coast of North America. Later in life, the matured eel migrates back to the Sargasso Sea to spawn and lay eggs. It is also believed that after hatching, young loggerhead sea turtles use currents such as the Gulf Stream to travel to the Sargasso Sea, where they use the sargassum as cover from predators until they are mature. In the early 2000s, the Sargasso Sea was sampled as part of the Global Ocean Sampling Survey, to evaluate its diversity of microbial life through metagenomics. Contrary to previous theories, results indicated the area has a wide variety of prokaryotic life. Owing to surface currents, the sargasso accumulates a high concentration of non-biodegradable plastic waste. The area contains the huge North Atlantic garbage patch. Several nations and non-governmental organizations have joined together to protect the sargasso sea. 
These organizations include the Sargasso Sea Commission, established on of March 2014 by the governments of the Azores, Portugal, Bermuda, United Kingdom, Monaco, United Kingdom and the United States. Bacteria that consume plastic have been found in the plastic polluted waters of the Sargasso Sea. However, it is unknown whether these bacteria ultimately clean up poisons or simply spread them elsewhere in the marine microbial ecosystem. Plastic debris can absorb toxic chemicals from ocean pollution, potentially poisoning anything that eats it. The Sargasso Sea is often portrayed in literature and the media as an area of mystery. The Sargasso Sea is frequently depicted in fiction as a dangerous area where ships are mired in wheat for centuries, unable to escape. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.